our question today is from Tina, and Tina says, uh, Dear Dr. Phelan, I happened to run across you the other day on WGN television in Chicago, and you were talking about a new book called The Manager Mom Epidemic. My question has to do with, uh, you mentioned something called the mommy ID or maternal identity. Can you please clarify what that is? Well, Tina, the, the mommy ID or maternal identity are rules that moms have uh, inside themselves. They may have learned from their own mothers, from modeling, from movies, from school, from lots of different places, but they're rules about what it means to be a good mom. And part of the problem with moms doing too much around the house and getting stuck doing everything for everybody has to do with the mommy ID being kind of extreme. Now, let me give you some examples. Um, one part of the mommy ID is what we call a president or first responder. It means it's the idea that a mom should be in charge of everything around the house and in charge of everything getting done. Everybody else, dad and kids, are staffers. They are helpers and so on. Uh, so you can see why well, if you had this idea as a mom, you would get stuck doing a lot of things. Why should you have to do everything? Why should you have to be a first responder? If your 10-year-old son comes down for breakfast, he says, I, have to, I can't find my science book. Why do you have to be the one that goes in, looks for it? But it's that kind of thing. It's the assumption that mom has to do everything. Another part of the mommy idea is what I call the stoic. The stoic is many moms feel the most important thing is to get everything done. Get the homework done, get the cooking done, get the cleaning done, and get the, this done and that done. It makes no difference if mom is happy or not. The important thing is to get the work done. I gotta take issue with that. I really feel strongly that kids, and dads, other family members, really need to see mom being happy and enjoying herself, not being everybody's servant uh, and feeling downtrodden and anxious, depressed and uh, guilty. Another part of the mommy idea has to do with free time. Uh, it's the idea that if mom has free time, she, she should be spending it with other family members, preferably with whole family fun and that kind of thing. Take issue with that too. What's wrong with mom going out by herself? Uh, or going out with friends with no family members going along with her. Now, some of you may already be doing that, but others of you may think, no, if I have free time, I, I should be with family, uh, and so on. And a, a final thing, part of the mommy idea has to do with tasks. Part of the mommy ID or maternal identity is the idea that mom is in charge of the laundry, mom's in charge of the cooking, mom's in charge of the shopping. Who said mom's in charge of all that stuff? Uh, you'll find that kids, especially over age nine, have the ability to cook a meal for a family of four. They also have the ability to do their own homework. Um, dads can cook meals too, dads can shop. Uh, so anyway, you get the idea. It's the mommy idea are rules or scripts or schema inside that push moms to get stuck doing too much for their family. So the next question is, how do you get rid of that? And uh, we'll talk about that sometime in the future.